Hi, my name is Maria Gisling. I am a fashionista with Paparazzi Accessories. Today we are going to talk about different forms of selling $5 jewelry and we're going to talk about your launch party. The most important party is going to be your launch party because as soon as you get your kit, you are going to be one of you are going to want to be selling that jewelry right away as quick as possible and when you see that stuff sell you're gonna be like oh my goodness this is the best thing I ever did so the number one launch party that I recommend personally is inviting your friends over to open the box with you super exciting and who doesn't love first dibs the other ways of selling are definitely going live on Facebook um, which is a huge deal right now and super effective so either invite your friends over or do a launch on Facebook but I would recommend number one inviting your friends over that is the quickest way um, to get the word out about what you're doing and to let them have first dibs at the awesome awesome $5 jewelry and you're gonna have so much fun opening your kit drinking wine um, eating cookies whatever you want to do that night so invite your friends over all right for an evening of fun and now we're going to talk about different ways of selling you've had your launch party I want you to decide um, what your main avenue of selling is going to be but in order to do that you may need to try some different forms of selling to discover where your sweet spot is so get ready to write down the different forms of selling so that you can try them out and see which you like best all right, so number one, we already talked about live video. Awesome, you can decide how many nights a week you wanna do that, um, whether you wanna do flash sales at lunchtime or just going live at night after work or when your husband's home to watch the kids, however you want to do that, okay? Number two is albums and wall drops. And by wall drops, I mean posting one piece at a time, which can be very effective um, for people just to see that one piece in a picture form. And also you can do albums, like I said, by all means create a VIP group where you can do these albums and wall drops and funnel people from your live shows into your VIP group so they can actually see pictures of the jewelry when they don't have time to shop your live shows, all right? Number three is you can carry the bling bag with you. The bling bag is a bag in your back office created just for you to load with jewelry, to take it with you to your office job, to ball games, wherever you happen to be, and sell it right out of the bag. You would be amazed um, at how much money you could make just selling jewelry right out of the bag wherever you're at, okay? Bling bag. The next way is events. Now, events may or may not be your sweet spot. Some people love them, some don't. I recommend trying a couple events just to see if you like it or not. Um, I do some research, make sure it is a successful event, an annual event, something that has potential to be successful, okay? Do your research on your events, and then you can do home parties, um, assisted livings. Some people will let you set up at assisted livings. I did that for about two years, I believe. I can't remember a year or two years. <laughs> um, I did home parties as well. My sweet spot ended up being on Facebook, so that's what I focus primarily on. But try several ways, especially while you're starting out. Um, the more you can make right away, the more you can reinvest, okay? Number two, we talked about the forms of selling. Now we're gonna talk about reinvesting. I reinvested for three months before I paid myself at all. I wanted to build up my inventory, so I started with the $2.99 kit. I believe that one has 160 pieces. Um, I started with that kit and I reinvested again. The next month I bought a little over 150 pieces. Um, and I just kept building and building and I did not pay myself for three months. Some people start a lot faster, they sell a lot more right away, then you can grow a lot faster. 
faster, okay? So build your inventory. I recommend to build your inventory to at least 500 pieces before you start paying yourself. You want your jewelry business to look more like a store rather than just something that you don't have a lot of options to choose from. So make your business look like a store. Build to at least 500 before you start paying yourself and then start paying yourself every month. And I paid myself once a month when I started. That way I could still reinvest throughout the month. And then build your inventory to at least a thousand or three thousand or more, okay? Minimum of a thousand um, eventually, but you can build it to three thousand or more, but create a bling store rather than just a little corner, okay? For people to shop from, create a store. Even if you don't have these, you know, big area yet to put your bling, build your inventory. Keep the new coming, that's what keeps your people coming back. Have new bling coming every single week, okay? So we talked about reinvesting. Number three is begin to build your network, okay? Um, if you prefer selling in person, you're going to start telling your friends at church. You're going to start setting up home parties, things like that. If you prefer to sell on Facebook, which is definitely my favorite way to sell, you're going to really start adding to your friends list daily. Okay, You're going to start adding at least 10 new friends a day on Facebook. And you're going to start being very intentional about what you post. Um, be, very, be very personal. Be very original with your posts. Post it things that pertain to you. And rather than throwing out ads or things that look like they weren't created by you, just be as original as possible. Um, this will attract more people to you. You can post about the smallest sales that you made, why you love the business with a selfie. Um, you can post quotes that inspire you. You can post pictures or videos of your daily life. Let people get to know you as a person. This is called branding yourself and will definitely attract more people to you, okay? Add to your friends list daily. Those three things, y'all, are super duper important. Forms of selling, figuring out your sweet spot, um, incorporating several forms of selling, at least for the first year or so. Number two, reinvesting. And number three, build your network. Thank you all for tuning in today. If you'd like to see more tips and helpful videos, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. I can't wait to chat with you next time. Bye.